Hey guys and welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video I'll be going through the Brisbane vs Richmond game to start off round 16 and how players went well, in particular Lockie Neal and how we finally saw Tim Taranto and Josh Dunkley pretty much fail. So before we get into the video, remember to like and subscribe, turn the notification bell on so you know when I upload. And it should be getting more regular uploading times in the next couple um, after this week as um, I should be able to upload on the um, Saturday, etc. and make it easier for you guys. But um, so be it as well as it should be at a earlier time in the morning rather than right before the game start, basically. So uh, now let's get into the video. Um, Lockie Neal was the star, 1-2-7, um, he just had a 44 point last and a 34 point third, so a 78 point second half after a 49 point first, and that got him up to a 1-2-7, and he looks like an option this week, um, and I will be close enough to pretty much get him with, um, I think I'll be holding, um, Sheldrick and... Johnson probably as they're the cash making guys um, or um, depending on what's happening with Frio but it looks like um, Fife has gone down with an injury and Frio do have um, Carlton Collingwood um, let me make this a little bit bigger there we go Carlton Collingwood Sydney and what do North have North have Geelong uh, North probably actually have a better run to make cash to be honest with you so that'll be, um, that'll, we'll see who I decide to get rid of. It'll probably be depending on break even, etc. who I decide to get rid of. But at least I made the right decision with Wilmot and Sheldrick or Wilmot or Johnson, as long as I didn't get um, Wardlaw there. Um, so there's that. Um, so Neil is certainly one guy that I'm going to look to target as I've got 90k plus. I'm going to guess with uh, Wardlaw being that he had a 51 break even, that he will be up at around that 490k, and Johnson will be up at around, given that he had a 20 break even, up at around that 520k. And Wilmot probably is going to be gone anyway, as um, he has a break, he had a break even of 42 or something like that, so he'll be up around that 510k range. So I'm probably going to have two guys around I'm probably going to have around um, can get someone around that 900k mark and then I'll probably just get another um, dead rookie as I think I've got enough cover um, well not cover per se but cash gen in Chessa I've still got Sheldrick making cash Wintager and Noah Long hopefully can resurrect it with a good game so I think that's where I'll go um, Danaher one two one just kicked five goals. McCluggage one sixteen. Coleman one eleven, so he did pretty well. Ashcroft, uh, as I traded him out, went ninety five, uh, which was quite annoying, as I probably could have traded out to um, lower guys and gotten um, Doherty instead, but so be it. Um, McKenna eighty eight. Wilmot eighty seven. He had a massive last quarter and a massive first half in general, so that was really good for him and. For and this, uh, Fletcher's probably too far out of my price range to be able to get him, as now he's going to be around 360k, and I just can't get him off that. Um, Dunkley um, is going to drop in price, but really doesn't matter. Everyone pretty much has him, so it doesn't really matter with what happens with him. Hitwood, Bailey, Andrews, Berry, Stasevic. The only problem with Dunkley is the potential for him to get subbed, but we can just use Wintager or Sheldrick and... Um, used I mean not subbed but if he doesn't play against West Coast we can just use those two guys as a way to um, cover him and I would have um, Johnson in the last um, non-primo um, spot in the last rookie spot um, Hitwood, Bailey, Andrews, Stasovic, uh, Robertson 61 was pretty good um, still probably too expensive for a rookie down like a rookie option I think Hewitt is probably the one at the moment as Vestatini didn't do anything for Port after his late call up and I think he won't um, survive the next game anyway Vloston 106 um, pretty good effort from him an all round effort really with one uh, a standout quarter of 37 
Hopper, 103, pretty good from him as well. Another standout third quarter. Broad, um, 97, pretty good first half, but then fell away massively. Bolter, Ross, Nankervis, Rioli, Taranto. He just didn't get going, in all honesty. In 80, um, yeah, he just didn't get going. Um, didn't get the tap. Uh, was that? Did he even have a mark? Or get, he had a mark in the twenty seventh minute of the last quarter for his first mark of the game. I think that just shows you why um, he failed. He wasn't able to get not only get the disposals as I think he only had about fifteen touches. He just wasn't able to get the marks either that he um, gets quite often. Uh, like in this game, he got a lot of the disposals and a lot of tackles to cover that. Um, three, four, three. A lot of these games, he's having um, two, three, four marks more, which is already 10 more points there, so that would put him at a 90. But um, obviously, the first time I see him, he goes and scores 80. Um, but doesn't really matter in the... Um, because a lot of people did that, either him or Dunks, pretty much. I think it was around 50% of people or so did that. Or at least in the top um, 10K and all the competitive people, it was um, it was a high percentage. I would say 60, 65% of, the, um, of that were competitive people. Bolton, Young, McIntosh, um, Cochin for anyone who thought he was a good option with a low break even. He just failed miserably, even with Dusty out. So I wouldn't have gone for him anyway. Um, Baker, Clark, Cumberland, Ralph Smith, Graham, Grimes, Pickett, Ryan. Um, Ryan even played? Wow. Didn't even notice he played, honestly. Um, short, Miller, Revolt. That's pretty much it. Yes, this is going to be a, sh a couple of short videos, but... In essence, at the moment, there isn't really much to um, talk about or review heavily because, um, if I go back to the main screen here, um, we're out of... These guys didn't debut any um, rookies and, like, Dunk... Uh, not Dunkley, Fletcher and... Um, where is he? Um, Robertson are out of our cash ranges anyway for really a rookie as that would limit our ability to... Um, get a get a proper upgrade in terms of um because a lot of us are running you run the tight line between getting a like 950k player whereas getting a 900 850k player because you brought in a better rookie uh, when rookies can turn so quickly so um i think it's just better to get a get more money on field more cash on field and pick a guy that you want for the rest of the year that's going to average 5, 10 more, rather than try and go for um, the better rookies for the round because um, there's only so many trades that you can make. So that's basically the review of the Brisbane versus Richmond game. Not much to talk about. And I'll see you guys in another video. Thanks, guys. Goodbye.